Hello, this is an Anne News highlight. I am Patience Aliyu. No fewer than 72 National Youth Service Corps members who served with the Federal Capital Territory between 2013 and 2016 have benefited from the 9.6 million Naira cash award by Minister of the Territory, Malam Mohamed Bidlo. The Minister at the 2018 FCT NYSC Honours Award for Outstanding Corps members said the cash gift was given to bolster youth's confidence in the government of the day and encourage patriotism. The federal government has called for value addition in the economic relations between Nigeria and China to address the trade imbalance between both countries. Mr. Boss Mustafa, Secretary to the Government of the Federation, during the 2018 Nigeria-China Production Capacity and Investment Corporation Forum in Abuja, called for strengthening of economic and bilateral relations between the two countries. Chinese scientists have discovered a substance in toad skin which could help to promote skin tissue regeneration and repair, thus helping wounds heal without scars. Scientists from Kunmin Institute of Zoology under Chinese Academy of Sciences have found that the pore forming proteins in the skin of Bombina maxima, a species of toad in southwest China, have the function of inducing tissue repair and promoting scar-free healing of wounds. Oil prices dipped on Friday with U.S. crude heading for a seventh weekly decline amid increasing concerns about slowing global economic growth that could hit demand for petroleum products as inventories build. Brent is heading for a 2% decline this week, a third consecutive weekly drop, while West Texas Intermediate Light Crude Oil is on track for the seventh week of losses with a fall of more than 3%. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is due to visit the Indian southwest state of Kerala, where the worst flood in a century has killed 164 people and forced more than 200,000 into relief camps. India's military has stepped up the rescue effort using dozens of helicopters and hundreds of boats. Lawmakers in Pakistan's lower house of parliament have elected former cricket legend Imran Khan as the country's new prime minister paving the way for him to form a coalition government. Asad Kaisa, Speaker of the Parliament, said Khan received 176 votes in the 342-seat National Assembly, while his rival candidate Shabazz Sharif of Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz got 96 votes. For details of these and other stories, log on to our website, nan.ng.